Hey, it's me again. Welcome back. I just finished a music video project I was working on with uh, one of my buddies for his new song, No More Fours. We shot it over a two-day period. Right now, we're just getting the final mix prepared for the song. I have to re-put in the song. I wanted to share the... If I was starting out, I knew I would be interested in what type of gear I was taking over to a music video shoot like this. So the shoot went a little bit like this. It was mostly supposed to be like a visual type of video. So there's no really like story narrative to follow. There are some cool visuals I was able to get in uh, Cambridge. So if I had to redo this project, I would definitely do a lot more handheld shots. I liked how those came out. I did a plethora of shots, like low angles, movement shots, like gimbal shots. I didn't really try any uh, tripod ones. With a song like this with a lot of energy, um, you don't really want to use a tripod, I'm starting to learn, uh, with my first video. Like that one was almost like a Wes Anderson type music video. I shot everything like very, like I was focusing on the composition mostly, but that's probably what I shouldn't have been focusing on. It was my first music video, but um, I still think it came out pretty relatively well. But for this shoot, I wanted to kind of up my ante a little bit. I wanted to bring more stuff to the production and make it look, you know, kind of more professional than just having your camera. So I brought along this light that I'm using right now. I brought this light and I brought another one of these for, I like these ones because they're like LEDs. You can get the Kelvin light if you want and you can get RGB, which is perfect for music videos especially this one, I played around with light a lot in this. So it was fun to see how it came out afterwards in post-production. But number one, the biggest thing that set me aside and you know, kind of upped my value as a professional videographer was for sure my softbox light. You definitely cannot go wrong with the softbox light, especially like a, a larger one that covers more area with the webbing and everything. Beautiful addition to your work. Lighting is huge and I was able to finally see that with this music video shoot, sadly. So yeah, I'm gonna be using lighting a lot more often in the future. It was dope to use and set up and uh, get creative with like the different scenes. I'll show you uh, this one. This one we kind of shot in the middle of a street uh, on the sidewalk, a dead street, but it had like some cool, like, you know, gritty feeling to it. I set up the soft box kind of behind him and lit it on top of the window to kind of get that separation there. And I brought my red light in or the RGB light and I put it towards the left side to kind of like give them that that red that red glow and shine it against the wall to like produce that like depth and I don't know I really like the shot the visuals were crazy with this one and how do you power your softbox light right I brought this this is like my little on the go battery power solution we have the AC outlet so I can plug in my light so I don't have to use it at like 20% power um, you can directly plug a Xeon light into a USB-C power source, but uh, it'll only give you 20% uh, max power. So once I plug it in here, once I plug it in the AC spot, I can get 100% power and we were shooting at night, so I definitely needed that. And you have a bunch of other little slots on here, USB, USB-C uh, power, and this little DC input is to charge it. And I can, I bring this everywhere I go now and it's been huh? a lifesaver. So I can't recommend this more. I'll leave this in the description. Uh, you can pick up diff different ones, but this one, just very reliable, uh, compact, small, fits in a lot of spaces, has the AC, everything I need, a nice little display to show you everything. And it's the perfect sidekick for anything I need for battery power. And here's another one. This is the uh, RGB light that I use. I have two of these, or it came in like a duo pack or a dual pack. So I'll put that in the description below. You guys can check these out. These are great. They're affordable. They come in two, if I didn't already mention that. I know I did. One downside is that uh, they do not come with batteries. I had to purchase batteries afterwards. Not a big deal, not bad. Uh, they, do, they do come with like the power input, so, but you know, you don't wanna have to carry that, like a big battery pack around with all those inputs just to power these. So sometimes I'll just I'll have one powered and I'll have another one that's, I can move around. And that's what I did with this music video shoot with the, the police looking lights. I was able to move it around a lot and set it up in different locations. So if you have batteries, you can make it a more mobile usage, but, uh. Be wary. If you get the smaller batteries, they do run out pretty fast. I have the two big ones. They were able to last me about three hours or so on the shoot. And that's all I really needed to get all my shots out of the way. So yeah, 
These are perfect RGB lights. I for sure recommend picking them up. All right, this next one here is huge. Definitely a big purchase. Broke the bank a little bit for this one, but uh, the DJI RS3 gimbal stabilizer. This thing is a beast, man. I love it. Probably the best like $800 I ever spent. It's just so fun to use. Like you look professional. Just having this in, on your camera setup and just moving around, people will come up to you and ask you questions. Hey, are you a videographer, photographer? Like, what, what do you do? Like, what is that thing? It's a big question raiser. A lot of people have questions about this. If you ever pick yourself up a stabilizer, bring it around a lot. It ups your value, people question you, and who knows, you might end up adding a whole new client to your network, which I've done many times with just this now, and I've only had it for about a month and a half now. So definitely a very valuable pickup. Definitely would recommend picking up a stabilizer if you want to step up your game as a filmmaker, a videographer, huge purchase. I know I mentioned the softbox light, but I don't really want to take it down right now because it's like the one source of lighting that, you know, makes the shot look good. But um, I will take a video for it, kind of show you what I got going on here. I have a nice black webbing on my, I think it's a 120 centimeter softbox from Small Rig. Can't go wrong. Very easy to uh, disassemble and assemble and kind of, or not too compact, where you can pretty much set it up in a way where you can just make it small and just shove it in your car. You don't really have to take everything off, like the Bones adapter or none of the light stuff. You can kind of just keep everything on, which I do, because I don't want to have to reset up this thing every single time. It's kind of a hassle and time consuming. But uh, yeah, Zhiyun Light, Zhiyun 60 watt, very portable. It's a brilliant form factor, very small and very powerful as you can see in them lighting my whole scene with this. I couldn't have had a better purchase than this. It was lighting, it was a huge difference for sure. Zhiyun 60 watt, definitely a quality purchase. I'll leave that in the description as well. And that is it for now. That's all the things I really brought to this music video shoot that helped me a lot and I think would help you as well. And that's all I really got going on for today. Maybe I'll share some behind the scenes of the music video, some funny shots or kind of like how I had stuff set up if I have any footage of that, I know I got a few shots. If you stayed this long, thanks for watching, I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for checking out the stuff that I use for my shoots. I'm still trying to find a, a system for my time management. I think I'm doing relatively well, but it can definitely do better. And I love to share the things I'm able to put together to you know make my productivity more efficient, if that makes sense. I'd love to relay more of those messages. I would love to help others. Um, I know I do in person, we can talk and you know, share ideas, uh, get value from each other. And that's what I wanna do more often on here. I definitely think I have things that are valuable to share. I just second guess myself a lot, so we'll see. Um, thanks for watching, appreciate it, and have a good one. Some BTS, Michael. What are we doing right now? He's filming that uh, that video for uh, shot. Filming that what? That video for shot. That video for shot. That know? shot is what's the date? The 24th. October 24th. You know, we shooting that video for no more fours. You know what I'm saying? Throw the deuce. I ain't throwing no fours. It's currently 7:25 p.m. 7:25. On a time crunch, I gotta do some shit after this. Yes, you know what I mean? uh, Yeah. BTS. <laughs> Get to it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna try to do it with the camera. Ready? I'm gonna try to go like this. Yeah, yeah. Wait, keep doing it for a little bit. Uh, we're, we're about to film right now. Yeah, yeah. I got Brendan over here. Yo, what up, Condi? Yo, yo, you should send them, you should uh, show them the setup we got right here. No, bro. I'm, I'm about to, I'm gonna send you a picture of what's going on. Right, Matter of fact, let me FaceTime you real quick. Alright, I couldn't find my shades though. I couldn't find any of them. But I got this. This little scully. That's tough. That's actually pretty tough. Try that on. What does it go with it? Boo boo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shit, you zooming on that. I'm kind of not feeling it though.
That's an interesting goal that you have. You said it's an interesting goal? <laughs> Very interesting. Yeah, if you look over here, this is where like I do my business calls and business meetings over here. Close to you. Wait, actually look in the mirror real quick again. Or, or turn. Actually, it's not bad. Yeah, we on the block with it. I'm about to do pump now, man. Put it on like on your neck kind of. That's pretty fucking tough. Can I do that again? What's up, Connor? You got a little set going on inside? Oh, hell yeah. What do you got? You got some big stuff in there. <laughs> is that where it's Waldo? It is, right? Yeah. That's Wal where it's Waldo? Yeah. Those are part of New York we went to that look just like this. And they have like, a lot of spots in New York that look like this. Yeah, you yeah. Stuff, of course. The really great thing is There's like all these type of stores. I forgot what that was like, called. This, with, the, with this type of vibe? Yeah, like exactly like this. Big stick with big flexing. Yeah, he said he likes the shit. Thank you, thank you. Video man type. Yo, I love like camping bags. Oh, is this it right here? It's right here. Yeah, we're about to record over here because you know the art matches with the art that we're producing right now. You feel me? So let's let's get to work. <laughs> 